Hey everyone, Garrett here from Tech Bytes. Today we're going to look at something maybe that's a little bit more flashy than it is practical, but it's got its practical uses too. What I'm referring to is a new add-on for Firefox called Pick Lens. Now, if you use another browser, you may just want to stick around for this because it's pretty cool. Alright, so to get started, just go to picklens.com or you can look at it at uh, the Mozilla site and find the add-on there like you normally would for Firefox. So I'm just going to type in pick lens. Here it is. And once you're there, just look to the side of the site where you can see the download button to get started. And you'll download your version for whether you're on Windows or Mac. So I've already downloaded pick lens, so we're going to go ahead and move on. It's not that hard to get started. So what does pick lens do exactly? Well, it creates, as you can see in the screenshot here, kind of a 3D area for you to view pictures in. So, okay, so that maybe doesn't sound a whole lot that much useful right out the door, but let me show you how it might work. For instance, I'm going to go to google.com, and most people know about the image search function now. Just click images, and you can run a search on anything. Like, maybe I'll do a search for the MacBook Air. Alright, so here's the old way that we looked for photos, alright? We went to Google, we looked at the images, and now we get to scroll through, oh, I don't know, 10, 20 pages of images looking for the image we want to use on our blog, or just one we want to see to get an idea of what something might look like. So what PicLens does is anytime you roll your mouse over a photo on a compatible site, which includes everything from Facebook to Flickr to PhotoBucket to Google Images, um, image search at Yahoo, then you just click the little... Um, play button that appears on every image. When you click that, it moves you into a completely 3D view. If you've got a Mac mouse, um, the Mighty Mouse, which can scroll in every direction, you can just use your mouse to scroll through all the different photos. Um, you scroll up and down to do your zoom. And if you don't have a mouse wheel that scrolls left to right, simply click and drag to accomplish pretty much the same effect. So what we're actually looking at here is every result in Google Images. Not just the first page, no, we can go on for hundreds, if not thousands, of results. And anytime we see a photo that looks interesting, all you have to do is click it, and your view will zoom in to take a closer look at it. You can zoom even closer with the mouse wheel. Now, this is great for perusing photos like I'm doing right now. Um, Another cool thing about it is you can click the full screen button over here and it'll instantly take you to a full screen version of that photo that you can view as well. Or click the play button and it'll start going through the results like a slideshow. So where a slideshow might be handy is, I don't know, maybe a place like Flickr. But before we go to Flickr, I want to point out one more thing. Let's say I really like this photo and I want to see where it came from. If I click this little round button with the arrow in it, it'll take me to the original source, just as if I had clicked it on the Google image search. Pretty cool. Let's head over to Flickr. Flickr is a personal photo site. I can use it to go through my photos just by clicking that play button, or I can run a search. Let's say for some weird reason I'm interested in traffic. Alright, it's the same story here uh, at Flickr. I can scroll through them in the old-fashioned way, or I can simply click the play button, move to my pick lens mode, and now I can view all the Flickr results in one fluid context. This actually does save a lot of time, not to mention it's really cool. If anyone happens to walk in on you while you're doing this, they're going to be pretty jealous. Um, now this is available for both Mac and Windows, so um, nobody's really left out in the dark except for the core Linux users, uh, which I am one of them, so I can say that without malice. But anyways, this is an absolutely fantastic service and definitely an eye-pleaser. Oh yeah, I forgot one other thing. 
Um, there's a little bar down here at the bottom, you can see a blue outline. That shows me how many photos I'm viewing. I can actually click and move this to, me to view more photos. And you can see when I zoom in and out, that blue bar moves. It shows me my context. The closer I am, the fewer photos I'm actually viewing. So that gives you an idea of what you're looking at on the scale of all the photos, and you can simply move this around to view your context. Anyways, really cool. Same story here. If I like a photo, then all I have to do is click this button here, and it'll take me to that page on Flickr. Again, this works on Facebook, it works on Bebo, works on MySpace, works on Yahoo Images, Google Images, and much more. So just install it, and anytime you see that button, then you know that you can go into the 3D mode in PicLens. Alright, have fun. This is Gear from TechBytes. See you later.